working okay done hello hello fine hey guys what's up rajit here from vfx world welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine Guys, last week I uploaded a video which was based on silhouette hair roto. Over there, I saw there are so many comments based on motion blur that you guys commented me, sir, please make a video on motion blur. So today I decided let's make a video on silhouette weird motion blur or normal motion blur. That how you guys can deal with motion blur. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. So guys, uh, this is a footage, and let's uh, see. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is a. Uh, it's the character is right now doing some gym. And uh, guys, first of all, uh, before starting this video, I want to clarify something about motion blur. That what is exactly motion blur is. So according to Wikipedia, the motion blur is the apparent streaking of a moving object in a photograph or a se uh, sequence or frames, such as a film or animation. It results when the image being recorded changes during the recording of a single exposure due to rapid movement or a long exposure. Then the motion blur will be created or something like that. So if I sh show something about motion blur, uh, let's talk about there are two kind of motion blurs. One is like a simple motion blur which we will create when anything will move. Uh, or, or any object will move then uh, that motion blur will create uh, or the second one is the weird motion blur Th that weird motion blur uh, included one more thing that is called the stop motion blur or in production we call that in um, stop mb okay so uh, when that two guys uh, that two will create um, if uh, like the camera is moving and the set is also moving or the camera is moving the character is also moving then that weird motion blur can be created or the character is moving very fast then also that weird motion blur can be created and the stop motion blur will create it when the camera and the object are moving in a different different direction then the sudden movement will create that called a stop motion blur so today we'll cover only two kind of motion blur one is like a simple motion blur which is this one and second one i'll come uh, after showing this part okay so in this kind of video we'll uh, track and uh, adjust our motion blur because this is a really simple footage and the motion blur is also simple so first of all see this edges is called the motion blur okay so before starting the motion blur module i just want to clarify one more thing in our motion blur we have three more major steps one is our hard edge second the middle edge and the third one is that outer edge okay so and we are always maintaining the middle edge so before starting this, uh, let's show you what is exactly motion blur is look like. So let's take a new layer and like a shape, draw it like this, press T for transform. So make sure that uh, just delete this first because I'm in first frame. So go to the second frame, make sure the motion blur, the motion blur is exactly working or based on the first frame. And the previous frame if your first frame and previous frame is not correct then the motion blur will not come properly okay so just draw a shape like this press T and uh, just see the mouse cursor I'm taking is as a reference so just take it here and go to the previous frame like this I'm just going the previous frame and just press shift and draw it like one two three frames and move it the first frame see one two three frames is moving and to go to the next frame then one two three to the down now see the motion blur when i turn on this motion blur option and press shift a see there is a motion blur is coming see this is a motion blur and the motion blur is exactly same so now what is hard edge and what is outer edge see the, uh, the mouse cursor is right now in our hard edge so this area is called our hard edge and this is our middle edge and this is our outer edge so in this area we can create our motion blur if we move this one in previous frame in a left right direction see one two three next frame next frame one two three so now the motion blur will come like this see so this is a merging point and this is the same hard edge middle edge and outer edge i hope guys uh, this will help you a lot for understanding what is motion blur and how you can use motion blur so let's delete this and let's start making this kind of uh, character motion blur adjusting okay so uh, first of all i'll track this character because otherwise the motion blur will not come uh, in very uh, you have to do the manual part okay so i'm not taking it as a manual so i'm just taking a rough uh, road uh, track so press shift t 
for this mocha tracker or you can use a planet tracker as well but i'm taking a mocha tracker if you use plan point tracker just go and press alt and click here and it will create a point track uh, that's not a big deal just press play see it's getting jittering okay because you have to adjust it every frame by frame that's why i'm taking mocha tracker just go to mocha tracker press b and just simply draw a rough shape which can be track and then just press play before press play just turn off this auto option and just press play now see this is starting tracking cool i'm just going only this much frame this is enough see it's the movement we have our own movement now delete this layer press delete i'm going it's in full frame just go to the full frame press b for the spline now see we have to draw our spline okay now in this area it's not visible so what happened when the shape is not visible in this but you can understand right uh, the shape is how its shape is look like so i'm just taking a shape like this okay it's slightly like this now i am doing it in a middle edge because when the motion blur will apply it will cover both the sides like this area and that area as well so that's why we are always doing motion blur in a middle edge okay if guys you guys understand this then please do comments that you guys have any issues or you guys love this or not okay just uh, draw this like this and press t now see what we already have tracked here right so go to the previous frame next frame it's already done now shift a nothing is there just go to our this layer option and just turn it on now see our motion blur came right so to go to the timeline and when you press alpha now see the hard edge is this one and our hard edge is here and outer edge is here but it's going up okay because our shape is not proper or our previous frame and next frame is not adjusted properly so before going previous and next frame just drag this and move it little down and go to the next frame move it little down go to the previous frame move it little up okay so now shift a i think it's matched yes little more down yes yeah, it's, it's matched okay and this area as well same technique go to down see the hard edge is matched now the outer edge go to the previous frame and uh, go to the little up see this is too much in so move it little up we have to maintain our middle edge as i told you before and uh, just go to this one now see hard edge matched now the outer edge see it's too much out that's why it's visible not uh, it's not covering press double t and just move it down like this i hope it's matched yep now go to the previous frame see it's matched so guys i hope you understand when these kind of shot will uh, you guys will face you can roto this kind uh, in this way okay so first of all it's not the way like you track or just you draw the shape and just leave it like this and the motion blur will come properly it's not that easy the motion blur will only come properly when you adjust the previous frame and the next frame properly okay i hope you understand this area okay so now let's uh, jump to our the next part which is the weird motion blur area so i have one more project just double click on it and it will open see this is our next project just close it and make it full screen press f and just play so this is our very own spidey i hope you really love this because i really love it a lot but in this area you see the characters is visible but the shapes are not clear okay so what happened when you face this kind of shapes or this kind of shapes so it's a very easiest way we call this as a like shape swapping and in this way you can get a proper motion blur in a single frame only guys only this, this will come for a single frame when you weird motion blur come or you can't manage that that this process will cover you okay now go to this like 40 i'm just taking this frame uh, okay this frame is fine now see uh, few guys can tell me like uh, the shape divide okay yes i understand the shape should be always proper but in my case i am taking this area as a one sh single shape the reason is the shape is actually is like a shoe the complete shoe is this area and the shape is not visible properly but yes you can understand the shape so that's why i'm taking it like in a one shape but you can divide it but when you divide the joining part in emblur maybe sometimes it will create some weird problem so avoid that and just make it in a uh, single shape only 
when the weird motion will come press b and just start drawing a shape i'm taking it as like middle frame uh, sorry middle edge and just make it make sure the shape should be look like a shoe it's not like the shape is not visible so whatever you are just draw the shape and just continue it now see i'm not taking it as a middle edge because this area is visible very sharply that's why i'm drawing the shape like here and then again middle edge like this okay now this area this is a hard edge this is almost a extreme outer edge so it should go a little inside like this i don't know when i applied motion blur it may be changed so don't quote me on that that this is the perfect frame or something like that press shift a so this is our main alpha so we are doing it in a invert way so just go to note press invert now see it's fine now when you press motion blur what happened you can track this as well guys but uh, make sure the track should be proper otherwise unnecessary you have to adjust so many frames so make sure when this kind of motion blur shot you get you just do it manually i suggest it now go to the previous frame see the shape is going this direction and uh, then uh, sorry the next frame is this direction so i'm just making it like a next frame just move positions like this and this area right so press r select this press t again and just press alt and just drag it like this so the shape is right now maintaining their edges like this you can change your shapes or you just can just adjust it whatever you just do but make sure the shape is not get too much deformed okay for the first time only i'll come because i'll i'll, I'll deform it uh, so just make it like this and uh, go to the previous frame and the next frame so just press t rotate it like this and this area is very sharp so i have to adjust this area and adjust it like this like this it's fine so almost the basic part is right now done so let's check the how motion blur is exactly look like in this uh, middle frame so press shift a now see this is too much cutting right i know in this areas as well so what happened when this much thing will happen see the out uh, edge is too much out or something like that so select this part so first of all fix this middle edge so our hard edge is only this to that so select this go to the previous frame and just drag this vertexes little down when you go to the previous frame see shift z this is more inside now control shift z this is fixed so you have to fix it more so just drag it little down now see it's getting closer okay now go to the next frame and make it little more this area so now see when you see i hope you understand now the hard edge is still cutting so select this and make it little yeah like this so i think yes this is now right now match this is little go inside and see this area is still not matched so select this and drag it like this and see so what we are trying to do we are trying to make this frame proper by using that previous frame on and the next frame now see this is too much hard right so select this go to this frame and go to this area so now see the previous one control z it was like this now it's like this now see it's again cutting so select this two and move it little down uh, yes it's matched and in this area sorry uh, this area is as well same thing see in this area the hard edge is almost match but the outer is not not match so when we go to the previous frame see it's too much out so just move it a little down uh, okay mm, yes it's fine yes it's fine now see this area is as well select this three move it a little down see it's i think it's yes see it's almost match now go to little little down it and move it like this and uh, select this three go a little down and yes it's matched now see this area is cutting right because when you go to this area this three is in this direction but this three is in actually in this direction so what happened you just move it in this direction so now see it's almost see it's what like it was like this and now it's like that so just move it again in this direction properly so that the direction is right now proper and move it a little down yes it's matched so guys i hope in this case you understand how you can adjust that weird kind of motion blur and you can make your roto or roto reel 
properly see this is fine now you can check like one two one two one two it's not i i, I don't know like uh, it's uh, getting really hard or not this area but yes this area is little hard so just move it little down see it's matched i hope guys this this will help you a lot for uh, that uh, because so many guys are asking me that sir please make a video on motion blur so i think i can help you guys with this video if yes then don't forget to comment that is this a really helpful tutorial for my subscribers for my viewers and for my students okay guys this is it for today hope you really enjoyed this exciting motion blur roto tutorial and if yes then don't forget to subscribe and yes press that bell icon for the further notification i will come with my new tutorial in next week till then have fun stay healthy bye bye and yes keep watching vfx world